Welcome to my channel, everybody. My name is Sandra. If it's your first time here, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at some of my recent jewelry hauls. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, and enjoy. Thank you so much for coming by today. I got this box of stuff yesterday for $6. So let's take a look at what's in here. I love collecting crown jewelry. I have not that many actually, so I'm really excited to add another one to my collection. Not terribly old. It's nice though, it's in beautiful condition. Here's an incredibly beautiful brooch. I love these jewel tone cabs. And I really like when they hang from a bow like this because they have movement, which I really love. Nice, vibrant colors. And here's some faceted stones on top. That's pretty beautiful. I got this cute little novelty pin. It's actually a set of pins. Look at this. How cute is that? Young people today would be like, huh? What even is that? But I think that's really a, a fun little pin set. You can wear them any way you want. That was unusual and interesting. I was happy to get this. Kind of weird, right? Then I picked this up because it was different. It's like there's two cherubs pulling on a wishbone. And to my surprise, it is a Kirk's Folly. So I love selling Kirk's Folly stuff. Many, many years ago, I bought out a whole table of the most beautiful Kirk's Folly all in the original boxes that I made several thousand dollars on, believe it or not. And I was never lucky enough to find a huge collection like that again. But when I find it, I, I buy it. I thought this was really cute, actually. That's adorable. And Kirk's Folly usually has these really nice AB rhinestones, as you can see right there. That's a cute item. So I got a few of what I believe are 1928. I keep finding it, especially recently. I think that's what that is. I know a lot of jewelry has that sort of swirly pattern, but it did look 1928-ish to me. And this is just particularly pretty, I thought. Look at this. How feminine. How pretty is that with all those pearls? And these are porcelain flowers, and I didn't see any breaks on them. Very old-fashioned, right? This is really something, something my grandma would have worn. I love them. So we're still in the $6 box here, and here's a very beautiful shell cameo. And this is silver, of course, as you can see. So one tip off that it may be shell is when it has that curvature in the back, which this one does. It's nice, you can wear it as a brooch or a pendant, and sometimes in the better pieces, this part folds down, which I think is very nice. Isn't that pretty? It really shows, let's see if we can get it so, yeah. Isn't that pretty? She's nicely done, actually. Look at the detailing, and her face is very pretty, too. So you can tell right away this is something that's very beautifully made and that it's special. This is a Joan Rivers piece. The signature is there. Let me see if I can get a close-up of it. Hold on. Okay, so it says Joan Rivers right there. And this is just exquisite. This is beautiful. So she did have a line of ribbon brooches. She had many lines of many different things. And I've never actually seen one of these ribbon ones. This is beautiful. I'm probably gonna put this one on my eBay page. I'm not really doing this to sell my stuff, but if you're interested, my eBay store is called the Funky Pickle Store, and I am gonna be putting this one up. I'll probably put $40 on it or something like that. It's beautiful, it's in perfect condition. So we're still working through the $6 box. This is adorable. This is by JJ, of course. Now he is clearly courting her. Look at how this really captures exactly what's going on. He's happy. He just gave her a flower. She's shy. How cute is that? That's adorable. I love that. I also love, notice how the gold tone, some of it is brush gold and some of it is the shiny gold. That's really cute. I got this cute little dog charm. 
I would be surprised if this isn't sterling. I didn't look at it yet with my loop. But that's pretty cute. It's a nicely made little item. So still in the $6 box, I got this beautiful sterling silver marcasite cross. How pretty is that? And you notice that's marked NF. I believe that means nickel free. That is not the artist signature. Because you know, 925, right? It's only 925 parts silver to whatever else they put in it. A lot of times copper and something else. But this is a, I think this is just a beautiful cross, beautiful marcasites. There was this cross. This one's really gorgeous. Look at that mother of pearl marcasites. And of course it says 925 on it. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's beautiful. I have one last thing in the $6 box. I got a little 10 karat cross. That's very pretty with the flower in the center. Isn't that nice? There's the back and it is clearly marked 10 karat on the bale. And before I sell something like this, I would test it to just make sure that it's not only the bale that's gold, but I'm sure this is gold. So that was my $6 box. I thought that was pretty good. So I got this in the thrift store. I tried to leave the prices on so you could see what I paid. And it was $2. I don't know if they priced it by how long it was. But let me see if I can show you how pretty this is. And it is a Silpata. And these are beautiful glass beads. Really beautiful. So this is sterling. But then one of the good things it's actually in its original box, which I thought was really nice. And we'd like to all thank Kylie very much for writing your name on this and ruining that box. Thank you, Kylie, wherever you are. Anyway, this is an awesome, awesome necklace. Kylie, I guess, didn't like it anymore. Oh man, this one's nice. You know what? I'm gonna pull it out of its bag, hold on. There it is, this looks much better. This is a great snowflake pin green. I don't know if that's a Christmas pin. They actually had them with Christmas pins, but I'm not sure if that's really supposed to be for Christmas. Maybe. I don't know. I wear these all year round. That's a beauty. Look at those emerald green stones. Beautiful, beautiful. You are lovely. All right, let's see what's in here. So this wasn't that cheap, $6. Uh, by the way, that is an alternate spelling for brooch. I don't spell it that way, but that is acceptable. But that, I don't think, is an acceptable spelling of pewter in any country. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Always a critic, right? But take a look at this. I think that's really cool. Who else could this be? Of course it's JJ. They are just, their stuff is really, is just really interesting. It's so different. And look at that expression and the hair, and he looks like a very powerful wizard. So I was happy to pay $6 for this. I was actually in a little church thrift store, and I actually love giving those people my money because I know it goes to a good cause too. So $6, okay, that was maybe you know a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but after I got that whole box worth for $6 in the same place, I didn't have a problem paying that money. All right, so I just looked over and I see that I have this little display and I wanna show you this necklace, which is sick. Look at this thing. What? That is drama and a half. And I'm totally keeping this and I am gonna wear this. And I love this. It's really long, it's really dramatic. That's crazy. How much do you love that thing? So that's the name brand, but the beauty of it is it's new. And huh, she only sold that for $30 originally, huh? Well, I would have paid more than that. But I believe, no, I don't know why the price wasn't on here. Hmm. I think this might have been $3, I think. But that's pretty amazing. I love this. Doesn't remind you of a Chatelaine, but super cool. So I'm going to be wearing this. Just watch for me, because I'm going to be wearing this in a future video, for sure. So I got this at a local Goodwill. Look at this crazy thing. How cute is that? Um, I am wondering if this, is this Joffrey the Toys R Us giraffe? I'm not sure. 
but this is crazy that's really big and I love these wooden beads but it's that giraffe that's the that's the thing right there how different is that right nice one so I got this at the same Goodwill. The girl actually pointed it out to me. She said, if you like that giraffe, I think you're gonna like this bracelet I have right here. So she pulled it out of the case for me. I said, you know what, you're right, I do like it. And I think this is, is this Ganesh or something like that? I think this is some sort of a Buddhist elephant. But I thought that was really different and very cool. I love buying stuff that's different, especially to sell. Because that's gonna be somebody's somebody's thing that they're looking for and that they always wanted their whole life i don't know i think it's really cute if it doesn't sell i'm going to keep it that's a, really the beauty about things if things don't sell i just keep them and i will actually wear this cool so then at another thrift store i found these charlotte russe earrings these are really great so tassels are really in style right now i think these are particularly good ones i just love these i love the neutral color it's sort of like a rose gold. I'm not sure if it's really showing properly on my camera. Anyway, these are very pretty pierced earrings. You can see how this sort of hammered look is really going to look nice because it catches that light. Very pretty. It looks like somebody took some gold tone bracelets and then just made this lucite bangle, which I think is really different. It was $2, which I thought was kind of good. I just think it's unusual. Nice and heavy. I don't know. I just thought it was weird. That's strange. Interesting little bangle. So I love picking up Brighton stuff. This was $2 and it comes with these inserts. And there's the mark right there. Isn't that pretty? So you can take this silver one out and put a red one in or a blue one. And I guess these are, yeah, of course they're double sided. So this is black, this is red. That's very creative and clever. I think this one's really nice. And this looks brand new. That looks like nobody ever wore that. That's a very, very cool bracelet. And $2. What a great price was that? So for $2, that was pretty exciting. So this necklace is a real oddity. And it, it's very noisy too. This is so weird. Look at this. It's bunnies and glass carrots and glass leaves. Isn't that weird? Oh, it's weird and wonderful, and each bunny is different. Look at that. Oh, I see. These are the same, and then these are the same. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom out. Yeah, let me try to see, zoom out. It's too claustrophobic. And these bunnies, I guess, are the same. And then there's just these two stray ones up here. How cute is that? This has personality and then some, right? Personality plus. This is a really fun item and it's it's a very um, long, this is a nice long necklace. And there's no catch on this. It just slips right over your head. Super cute and this was $2. So I got this amazing plastic necklace. It's light as a feather. And it came with these matching earrings and I paid $3 for this beautiful set. I'll show you what the back looks like. It's a spring ring. Anyway, it is marked Hong Kong on the back. So this is kind of a cool, it almost looks like snowflakes. And what I like about this is there is some movement. These are all like kind of dangling around here, kind of shimmying around. So that's fabulous. So I love Joan Rivers. I miss Joan Rivers and this uh, was $10. This is interchangeable and there are beautiful colors in here. And then there's extra colors in here. So yeah, there's 12 all together. Let me take these out, hold on. Okay, so here's the other two. There was a silver one and a black one. Isn't that nice? A lot of different looks and boy, this looks like it wasn't used. And again, I would love to thank the person who wanted to write with 12 removable pendants, good spelling. And uh, I mean, I wish they didn't write that on the card. Why? Why? 
anyhow that is my haul from yesterday so i hope you enjoyed it yeah i really hit the jackpot didn't spend a lot of money i mean yeah this was 10 but i got that whole box for six which had sterling and the joan rivers brooch in it and a 10 karat gold cross so i did really well i'm very excited some i'll keep some i'll sell thank you so much for coming everybody we're going to catch you on the flip side see you soon